it's so weird that for the first like 23 or so years of my life, I ate chicken like, without barely a thought. But now the thought of like going to the gates of a slaughterhouse, like I'm not even going inside, like I'm standing on the corner with a sign. But the thought of like going there and just watching these trucks piled high with chickens headed for slaughter, like I'm so scared <laughs> and like overwhelmed. But I've like, who knows how many chickens I've like put on my plate and eaten without a thought. It's just so interesting. All right, our first truck piled with chickens is uh, right around the corner. So, we'll see how close we can get to it. I'm still shaking. It was, it happened maybe five minutes ago. I just couldn't believe how many of those chickens looked. I mean, just like mutilated, so, unhealthy and so unhappy and so many of them looked right at me even the ones that were stacked up high were just like looked down at me and they looked so um like helpless <laughs> and uh just like resigned to their fate it was so heartbreaking especially having held um having held really healthy happy chickens before and knowing what that's like and what what these chickens lives should be I know, I'm just still shaking. Some guy who works for the city just showed up in a pickup truck right back there and change the traffic light pattern so that we're uh, we're not able to get as close to the trucks. I don't know. They were able to change the traffic lights so that we couldn't get as close to the trucks. It's amazing. Okay, so this uh, this picture is of a, a chicken I took. I think it was um, maybe our first or second vigil. Um, we were initially told that we couldn't stand on the median, uh, where unfortunately we were able to get some amazing footage. Um, I think it was actually the second vigil that we did. So the second vigil we were on the sidewalk and we weren't getting such good pictures. So I thought, screw it, I'm gonna go back onto the median. Truck pulled up. Um, he wasn't very happy about it, but I, I jumped on the median and was able to take this picture, um, which is, yeah, incredibly sad. Once you get up close and personal with the chickens, it's, um, it can be a really distressing experience. It's, it's quite different to being far back and not, you know, being able to really catch, capture the full scope of, um, you know, what terrible condition they're in. Um, so yeah, that's the, the story behind this picture. It's just so striking the way we view them as products, the same way we view like our phones or like the shirts we buy, when they're so clearly individuals with like needs and desires who are suffering.